A landing site is selected for our next Mars rover. Our InSight mission is in the home stretch of its journey to the Red Planet. And a week of celebration on the space station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On November 19th, we announced that after a five-year search that included more than 60 candidate locations on Mars, Jezero Crater has been selected as the landing site for our upcoming Mars 2020 rover mission. This decision today could determine what happens in the next decade or more of Mars exploration, both robotic and human. The technologies that we prove here feed forward into a program that gets ever more exciting. The mission is scheduled to launch in July 2020 as the next step in exploration of the Red Planet. It will not only look for signs of ancient habitable conditions and past microbial life, but will also collect rock and soil samples that could be retrieved for return to Earth by a potential future Mars mission. A series of news briefings on November 21st focused on the upcoming landing on Mars of InSight, our next mission to the Red Planet and our first Mars landing since the Curiosity rover in 2012. The InSight lander is scheduled to touch down on November 26th at approximately 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will carry live coverage of the event on NASA television, on NASA.gov, and on the agency's social media platforms. InSight will be the first spacecraft to study the Red Planet's deep interior to help us better understand the formation of all rocky worlds, including Earth. It was a busy week full of celebration aboard the International Space Station. On November 20th, the crew celebrated the 20-year anniversary of the 1998 launch of the Russian-built Zarya module, the first element of the space station. Meanwhile, our Serena Anand Chancellor and her space station crewmates, Alexander Gerst of ESA and Russia's Sergei Prokopiev, were busy welcoming a couple of resupply vehicles. A Russian Progress spacecraft arrived with cargo on November 18th, followed by Northrop Grumman's Cygnus cargo spacecraft, which arrived on November 19th with about 7,400 pounds of research and supplies. Anand Chancellor and Gerst also recorded a video message to talk about the crew's plans for Thanksgiving dinner. And this is our turkey. Along with Russian colleague Sergei Prokopiev, their plans included a little downtime from their daily activities to reflect on the things for which they are thankful. From the crew of Expedition 57, from our home to yours, we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.